Hello, welcome back. Last time I had a rooftop battle with the shopkeeper. When I started the game today, I didn't have a save anymore. So that save seemed to exist specifically just for that boss fight, and that boss fight would not have worked without it, so I'm glad it was there. Because that took me, like, a lot of tries. I didn't count, but it was a lot. Uh, I am running the newer version of this now, so some bugs may be fixed. I probably can't um, teleport outside the bounds of the town anymore. Hey you! We're gonna act like friends at the moment, but I know better. Uh, okay, so... Whoa. Okay, I'm just seeing through that to the other side. <laughs> right, I can put the camera through the wall, just with the way that it works. So anyway, I know how to make friends now. Um, gonna do my normal opening stuff. Uh, make friends with the dude behind the drunk tank, and then explore the new things I can reach from there that I hadn't seen yet. Actually, scratch that. I'm not gonna spend a bunch of time preparing for this, because I'm gonna try some stuff that will almost certainly kill me. Thanks for the grave key. Okay, first thing. Cannot talk. Could punch. After having gotten the grave key... Oh. That's interesting. I need new eyes. I just gave you one little boop. I got two grave keys now. That's probably not supposed to happen. I feel real bad about this, but I have to do it. Not this, but this. Are you invincible now? No, okay. Then I get home key E and the cloud eye, almost certainly. Okay, well, you know what? This is uh, also something that's worth trying. So I have way too many grave keys. Uh, I'm g I wanted to try punching myself with neither eye. I need new eyes, but let's try doing it with the cloud eye and the queen eye and see if that has an effect. Like, I don't know if it's the presence of the cloud eye, or the absence of the cloud eye, or the presence of the queen eye that determines what happens when I punch myself. So, inside the grave is where I... Well, okay, so I have the home key E. The point of, um... What I think is the point of this is to get uh, home key E without... Oh, I can probably get another of those, unless it just, like, doesn't appear on the ground since I got the... the first version. That's probably what it is with the way stuff works in shops. I don't know my way around here. So I'm just following a wall. I can also peek through the walls, I guess. There are candles in the solid stone. Just, like, randomly spawning ground clutter, I guess. So this is where, what is that, mint? Oops. Got too many grave keys. This is call. Pretty sure I found and heard this before. Hi there. Let's not fight. I don't have brass knuckles or all my hearts or anything. Same for you. So you look like the one that killed me after Deerface, but that was a very special circumstance because one, it killed me instantly. And two, it saved me on the rooftop and brought me to that whole scene. Somewhere in here is a queen eye. There's nothing interesting about going to house E right now because I'm just in... Oh, that's back here. Okay. Because uh, I'm just in this circumstance again. So if I go straight ahead... Alright, so if I followed the wall and didn't find it, then that means it's on an island, right? Uh, Queen Eye was here, right? Yes, it definitely was. Just somewhere. I'm not sure where. Because everything looks like everything in here. Okay, I think I found my way back to... Oh boy. So the entrance will be right here, right? No, no, I have no idea where I am. So I'm just wandering randomly until I bump into it. Well, there's the entrance again. Maybe the Queen Eye is gone because I have the Cloud Eye. Let's assume that's the case, and I'm just on, like, no route here. Okay, redo. Okay, so, uh, still not gonna bother getting all my stuff. 
because I'm still doing things that I think are going to kill me in short order, but I have to try them. All right, so I get the cloud eye for punching that dude. I need new eyes, you say. Uh, sure. Uh, inbox one. Oh, you need new eyes, you need new eyes. Okay, so I get a copy of that. Got it. Uh, so back to the grave. I'm gonna follow the same procedure and see if I do run into the Queen Eye. If I don't, well, since this is on the way, I might as well take it. Alright, so I'm basically in the circumstance I was in last time, just with, uh, uh, without the Cloud Eye, and with only one grave key. Got lots and lots of things on my to-do list to do. Uh, so if I follow the right wall, this is a uh, nothing. This is a little dead end chamber that's all snow. No, I go through here. Okay, so I take like the second right, I go straight ahead, I get home key E in a little alcove. Hold on, how did I get here? Let me be absolutely sure of this. I didn't strictly follow the right wall, but I mostly followed the right wall. So that's the entrance. First alcove is nothing, still following right wall. I go through a little thing, keep following, go across here. Well, no, there's the queen eye. <sighs> now I don't know what I did. Why am I here instead of where the key was? How did I get to where the key was? I went straight across somewhere instead of... Hey, friends. You were not visibly here when I had the cloud eye. <laughs> okay, so this alcove is nothing. I went beyond here, and I went straight ahead, and there's home key E. So if I turn right after that key, queen eye was like here, or something. There's a disc in here somewhere too. All right, so yeah, so follow the right wall, and I get to good stuff in short order, and there's the disc. And this is still call, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm just gonna say, follow the right wall, you get to the good stuff. Yeah, these guys were conspicuously absent when I had the cloud eye, but they're fine now. What did I just see? Nothing really, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm peeking through the walls a lot, it's fine. The game just lets me do it. It's a feature I'm gonna use. Let's call it that way. Hey friend. We are friends today. Maybe not all days, but at least today. Okay, and that just takes me back around. Hold on a second! Hold on a second! Whoa, whoa! Realization. Cloud Eye replaces those with monsters. But, no. No, then why were there monsters here when I was here before? And I didn't have the cloud eye. It's not that simple. Okay, so there's something I don't understand yet there. Because definitely the very first time I came to the graveyard, I had no cloud eye. And yet there were monsters in there. Maybe that's a version change. Oh shoot, maybe I shouldn't have changed versions, because now I have some, uh... Oh boy. <laughs> some of my clues might be different. Oh, why have I done this? It's fine. I have $125, that's not enough for a woods key. I do want to punch myself and make night fall. Do I? Maybe I want to get on a different route now. I wanted to walk through escape at night and see what it did. It'll probably just do the same thing. This is why I'm saying what I'm doing here will probably kill me. I'm gonna stick with my plan and do that. Okay, so other than this one heart uh, and the running shoes, I guess, I'm pretty much equipped to the minimum for this. Being given the fingers, punch. I now have nightfall, right? Yes. Hey, friends. Bye, friends. It's nighttime, I can go back in. And back in here was a disc, that's right. 
Oh, I got the 10,000 money for returning to this house afterward, right? And now your Uzumart. Oh, that's how I can shop with this. Okay, well, hey. Let's get a fiasco ID and see if I can use that at night. And you know what? Since I have all this money, brass, nickel, little blade, and you know what? Sure, humkey bee. Why not? Oh, this bug is still here. It just happens at night instead. Okay. Well, um, where am I? Nowhere. Okay. Let me get back to the woods, I guess. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Uh, you know what? I don't really need to go back there. I've been to bought out Uzumart before. It's nothing special. It's still the shopkeeper, just with nothing there. All right, so that's how I go shopping at night. Is there anything interesting I can do with what I currently have? Yes, lots. Uh, let's check... Hi, right, you're still scary. Dude, like, something just incredibly alarming about those monsters coming at me in the middle of the night. Fiasco is open at night. All right, before I sacrifice myself, let's check this. Even foggier and harder to see than ever in here. Let's go straight ahead. So let me align myself in the straight direction. Okay, I think I'm almost oriented. There's still art. I can still break it. Game's still happy about it. I was very keen. Now I can't tell what side of the thing I'm on. Or which direction I'm going. Shoot. Okay, so from here... Oh boy. I think the entrance is this way. Yes, okay. So you're on that side of that. One, two, three, four. Dear face, somebody else. Not initially hostile, but I can punch. Gonna look around a little bit, but then I think I'll fight the somebody else. I don't suspect that's affected by breaking any art. Someone's after me. Oh, you're creeping me out, like, severely. Ah. <laughs> so, uh, Water's Fine warned about horror elements. This one did not. But this one has them much more. I can't help but notice you look a little bit like me. <laughs> Punch. No cloud eye has inserted itself into my inventory. That's the actual end. Shatter. No cloud eye has inserted itself into my inventory. I mean, yeah, that was clearly not the deer. That's just the place where the deer hangs out. Oh shoot, I don't know which direction is which. <laughs> okay, that's funny. All right. So I'm now in prison because of what I did, huh? With lots of me's on the outside, giving me the finger. And I'm probably stuck here forever. My only escape is to press the die button. Money's raining down. So right, I, I'm going to take it that the game has to say thanks for playing for me to have an ending. So I have definitely found exactly two right now. Uh... Deer ambush in the nighttime grave was not an ending. Yeah, there's no exit to this. I'm being sucked into the floor, I note. Yep, no escape. Being given lots of time to contemplate what's happened to me. All right, I got sucked in. This is ending three, isn't it? This is happening on its own. There's the worm. I have a save again. Oh, time for another boss fight, huh? Oh dear. Okay. Uh, sure, why not? I'm not equipped for this. I don't have brass knuckles. I don't have... I do have brass knuckles. I don't have bug blood. Maybe there won't be any projectiles involved. I'm in the drunk tank now. So I'm not immediately in a boss fight, but I can delete my save if I don't want to be there. The game didn't quit, it just kicked me back to the title screen. 
Hi. Okay, again, it's me. Oh boy. I probably want to reset my save and come in with like real equipment. Then again, maybe this isn't so bad. Hard cap eight? So there's a lot more of those things than I thought. Oh, I'm definitely on a route to a new ending here. This is a conspicuous protrusion. What's through here? Can't really see. Yeah, I hear you. Is this like the actual drunk tank? And Ah, yeah. So I'm in the outer portion here. This will allow me to get that mysterious little blade. I just have to go around this thing. Except I already have a little blade. Okay. So this outside portion of drunk tank is used for this. The little blade I was seeing was like right in this position. Because the, the actual normal exit is right there. The way up the stairs is just through there. Yep. Okay. So that explains that. Hard capacity won't help me here. It doesn't refill my current. Oh, actually it does. Hard cap seven. All right. I'm ripping out my own hearts here. I'm not sure what this worm is about. It's inside me. I am made of it. This time it's like in my gut instead of in my head. Are there more Mies to fight? I note that there's no conspicuous exit here. There's always the escape button, of course. Alright, cap nine! There are at least nine of them. Still don't know where one is. Okay, let's uh, be methodical here. I think I've cleared out this entire space between there and there. Okay. Next column. Do this like I'm breaking art. Okay, I went past a thing. I'm gonna follow that reference on my ceiling. There's nothing. Oops, keep... Okay. I got disoriented, but that's fine. Alright, so on the other side here, there's... Oh, it's shorter. Well, I disoriented myself. Great. I don't think there's anything more for me to do here. I think this is the end. I think I'm just like stuck here. Should I escape? Probably. Yeah, I think... Like, I'm not getting swallowed up by the floor anymore. How strange. Alright, I'm gonna do that. My save is still there. Hmm. Probably gonna have to delete the save. This fog is real oppressive. So let me use my knowledge of the layout of this place to see if there's any way I could like... I mean, if I die normally, I just die, right? Okay, yeah, as expected. So I start... Kind of in a corner, facing there. What does that bump in the wall right there mean? It means that the exit to this place is right here. Like, I want to get through this wall and go out there. But I think I'm trapped in this purgatory forever. Okay, let's do a spiraling pattern. I'm gonna go around the outer walls. Here's one. Heart cap seven. Two, three. Since enemy spawn positions are somewhat randomized, maybe one of these spawned outside the bounds of what I could reach. 
and I just happened to get an unsolvable situation, but now it'll be solvable. Those break like glass, just like my, uh, just like I did when I punched myself, um, in the forest. Is the wall right here? Yeah, it is. Okay. Oops, wait, hang on. Which way? That way. So follow this, that, that, oh shoot, okay, I'm, I'm not moving with the d-pad now. I should be, because I learned how much better that is. Okay, I've covered this whole place. There's nothing for me here. Got it. Delete save. Yes. Let's start fresh. Okay. <laughs> Maybe there's a route to doing something there if I have, like, all the hearts? But I don't feel much need to go back there without hard cap one, at the very least. Okay, so yet another mystery place, but that was like clearly going toward another ending. There's definitely a way to do something there. I think I just didn't have the tools for it. What the heck? You are holding... You're holding something. That's a change. Definitely not in the state of the game. That's going to be a version change. Okay, I get it. This knight is drunk now. He fights with a bottle instead of a sword. Well, that's a neat touch. I think the... Uh, hold on, did some of my settings reset? They might have. I died because I wasn't being careful. Alright, um, so some of my settings might have reset because I did change some things. Uh, warning... Uh, Flash alpha both. Is that not hit freeze look speed shake percent? Wait, so what does it look like when one of these tries to attack me? Maybe that effect just changed. And I can't get the old one back. Yeah, because it used to be a sphere. Now it's just a circle. That's fine. I can deal with circle. Alright, let's do that again. Hold on. $19. What's my default money amount? Did that change too? Zero dollars. It used to be 50. So I guess I just enter with zero dollars now. That probably showed up at the start, unless this is one of those things where it's like... Alright, uh, what if I quit the game and restart it? Because some things sometimes carry over in a weird way that they shouldn't. System beep, yes, whatever. Gamepad controls, gamepad controls. Okay, it remembers that. Zero dollars, okay. So I guess I'll just start with zero dollars now. Got it. Why has this happened? I went to check my music and it all looks like this now. It doesn't play. Something I have in my inventory? Is it the grave key? But like... Is it one of the tracks I picked up? That's obviously on purpose. Hmm... So I just kind of sprinted through here and got the disc and the heart. Let's see if the key is still up high. Why wouldn't it be? Of course it is, right? Why wouldn't it be, I say? And yet, it seems like it's not. It was in this clearing. And now it isn't. Perhaps that- oh, hi! Do you hold the key? If so, I'm not sure how I feel about this, but now I have home key D. Maybe it was just a bug that it was up high, but now I feel like a puzzle was removed here. I still have the old version. I could go back to it and see if I can figure out what's up with the high up thing. So I have home key D now. Still don't have C. I've never seen it. I have no idea where it is. Do I have A? I think I have A. I don't have E because I haven't bothered to go to the grave yet. My music's messed up. Let me get another music. Um, where can I do that? 
Okay, so housing A. Which one is this? This is the one with the heart that I already... Well then... There's home key C. Okay. So yeah, puzzles were rearranged. I have all the home keys now. Wait a second. What if the route that I'm on, as far as like these dudes being my friends, has changed this stuff? So I have all the home keys. All right, I'm going to go the capitalism route then. Convert everything to Uzumart. Really? I am? After my friends were so nice to me? Let's at least see what's in all the housing now. So I have all the keys, right? Not E. I can still get it in the graveyard. Let's do that. That's quick. I have all the hearts I know about, other than the ones in the nighttime drunk tank outer. But I can't get there and get back as far as I know. Okay, there's a disc in here. I want to see if gaining another one will still be just as corrupted. Probably. Why wouldn't it be? Alright, so I just... Uh, you're there now. Why? Does Queen I change you into my friends? Yeah, you need new eyes. With new eyes, I can see that those are friendly, right? So from that position, let's look at the same one. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, it is the Queen Eye that changes those enemies into friends. Got it. And I go straight across, not here. That's where the Queen Eye is. I follow the right wall here, and I get home key E. No, I get... Okay, so music. Music's still weird. Yeah, okay, it's... There's another item in the list, but I can't play music right now. And I don't know why. Home key E. So, I have all the keys. Before I go punching people and evicting them and turning it into shops, let me just check what's in all of the homes. So, right, that was grave. Uh, there's nothing behind grave, right? In the daytime... I forget. Let's check. Oh, there's one thing. There's a CD. Alright, so behind grave is... well... I won't know right now because I can't play it. Just doesn't... it just doesn't do. Does my camera work? Oh... Something's wrong with my phone. Or, <laughs> more likely, with me. Option has a little gear there. Inbox, unknown, you need new eyes, that's a folder. Camera does that. Music still heart. That turned it off. Hmm. This is a very strange game. I think it's actually in character that I installed an update in the middle of this, giving so much uncertainty to what was a, a, a change in the game or a change in the game state that I did. So, Housing D. Got a disc and a friend. And I've been to Housing D before. No, that was the one that was up in the sky. Okay, well, I don't know which track that is right now. But I have it now. Okay, so there's more than one of some types of housing. So this is housing B. Let's go on a trip around town and see what's in here. I think I was in here already and I got like a something? Maybe? Housing A. The other housing A. Bed, disc, then I won't know what it is. So I'm wondering if my actions with uh, deleting my save or like corrupting myself when I went to the bottom of the drunk tank changed something. Right, that's the same building, just a different entrance. Or if some action I took this run has done that. So I guess I could, like, start from the beginning and check my music and uh, camera to find out. 
So this was the housing A that had the heart in it that I've already taken. Mm -hmm. Friend on his bed. That guy gave me the key. Okay, so this is housing C. Never been here. Heart. Is this heart cap one? No, that's six. You almost look like you're sort of leading me off that way. Eh, you're not, though. Not randomly positioned. Hmm. All right, so that's where hard cap six is. I got seven, eight, and nine under the drunk tank, right? I think so. So here's another housing C. Another heart. So there's five. That's right, I didn't have five. These people are being so nice to me. Am I really going to betray them in the name of capitalism? I don't want to. But I might have to. Like, it's made super clear that I've really made friends with the, the wizardy types. Got bug blood. Take that. Ouch. Housing C. I was just in there, and this would take me on a loop around to the ways I've already been, right? Have I been in this one? Which one is this? D. Yeah, I think so. Okay. And I do have the key to E. Let's check E. All right, here's my suspicion. All of this is essentially for the purpose of powering up in order to take on the nightfall. But since I have all the home keys, I can convert everything to a shop. That might actually do just nothing. It might not get me toward an ending. Like when the possibility space seemed a lot smaller, that seemed like an obvious way to have another ending. Just squeezed out of the tiny bit that I could do with this game. But the tiny bit has grown a lot. I think that might have no effect. Everything here looks as I'd expect. My ringtones are still all weird. My camera's still all weird. All right, well, since I'm on this route, <gasps> traitor. Yes, indeed, that's me. That's what I'm doing right now. Hey, so... I've never punched one of those post queen eye before. I have a cloud eye. The queen eye is gone. You're still giving me the finger. All right, betraying my friends at the last minute. Not gonna punch myself. Annoyingly, it now feels to me like Converting everything to Uzu Mart won't mean anything. I still don't know what you do, but I'm gonna buy you. I wish I had any idea. So you're cleaned out, and... Yeah, you got nothing. And yes, the, the warp from here is fixed, but not at nighttime. Okay. So I want all the other housing to turn into Uzumart to see if that does anything. Do I need the queen eye to get all the home keys? I'm wondering if... So I feel like the traitor text there is for when I... Uh, for when I have the Queen Eye and I do that. So you're Uzumart now. It's kind of like the opposite of the last ending. I'm, I'm helping Shopman now, helping him take over. 
I guess the the little graphic I saw with him with all the little uh, star sticks, like those things, um, uh, hold, was showing that he's like killed lots of them and collected their stuff. And that's how he funded his shops. Like I was able to see that because I had the queen eye and then that was why he was my enemy then. I guess, probably. Well, this just feels real bad. <laughs> But I have to do it. Ah. I hate what's happening here. But I have to do it. Right, I got the fiasco ID. You have a key above your head. Does the one who, uh... Standing next to that door do anything? The, the locked door, I wonder. I'll be able to kill you, right? Yes, okay. Uzumart? No. Oh. So this is a tricky one, huh? Are there more of you out here? This one doesn't convert. Oh, that's unfortunate. You're totally leading me into the darkness here. There's another of you out there, isn't there? Mmm, so housing C is weird. So I'm just on a nothing route now, huh? There's another housing C. It's just a circle of four. Maybe if I convert this housing C, the both of them will go? Still housing C. Hello? Mm. The secret entrance is gone. What? Because I have the ID. So that removes those doors. Okay. So having the ID removes the code doors. And the one on the other side too, I presume? I'll check it. So housing C didn't convert. I think I got all the others, but not C. Oh, the door over here is still there, what? Maybe that's a version change. Maybe it's now just on this side, but not where the other guy is. Hmm. So yeah, housing C didn't convert. There's something I can do about that. Here's housing B. Hold on, was that other one housing B also, or was that already Usumart? This is Usumart now. This is Uzumart now. Uzumart. A little housing B. Hi, sorry to do this. It has to be done. Uzumart. 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 Hold on, that was the housing E that... or C that refused to convert. Wait, what? I'm confused. So is this the last holdout here? So there's like something confusingly intertwined about those two, I think. Or... I don't know, maybe the shop man just needs some time to expand his empire. Housing C. Hmm, I don't know about this. Let's check all the doors. <sighs> it's just not doing it. Oh dear. Let's check all the doors.
These are all the same. Okay, so I have this weird feeling that... Well, no, that wouldn't make any sense. I feel like these doors take me to a room that counts as inside the other housing C. So when I clear that, it, it converts this. That door took me to another place that didn't count as converting this. Yeah, so I think... Hmm. Maybe the last housing just won't ever convert. Maybe there's an order that it has to be done to make it happen. Is there a money threshold? Well, now I'm just on the route to nowhere. I can't get nightfall anymore. I can't convert everything to Uzumart, as it turns out. How annoying. There's really nothing for me in here. Yeah, this last one doesn't convert. Why? Hmm. Alright, well, let me check my notes to see if there's anything at all. Oh, let's see if... Um so all the graveyard monsters will have changed back now that I betrayed them, right? So I lost my queen eye, I gained a cloud eye, and like there's just basically nowhere else I can go from here. I was hoping to convert the stores, but that didn't happen. Maybe there's some other way that particular housing C needs to be converted, but why would that be? So with this health, can I just brute force you? No. Is there any way I can kill you? So I mean I'm I'm just at the end of the line here. I've I've locked myself out of anything good happening. You are I'm not sure how I'd fight you. It might be impossible, because your range is so large, and your speed is great enough that I can't safely get a hit ever? Except it happened, like, once. So I... I goad you, I... don't understand my hit range. Okay, it can be done. I don't want to... I don't want to dash in, I want to walk in and dash out. Oh, well, my range is more than I thought, so watch the eye to know when I can punch. Oh, why did I do that? I don't know if I can kill those. They're clearly not made to be killed. Like, I'm supposed to just run away from them and then discover they're actually friends. One... Well, I guess that's four, six, eight, ten, sixteen, twenty-two, twenty-four, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-six. Why am I not hitting you anymore? That was a 12. <laughs> the game crashed! So yeah, those are not supposed to ever die. Okay, I found the game crash ending. <laughs> Let's go with that. Alright, well I was locked into a situation where I could do nothing. I tried to convert everything to a store. It didn't work. I think the actual endings are going to be for more interesting circumstances than that. All right, so hopefully I'm out of the realm of betraying my friends, and I can actually... The music's still playing, which is weird. So the game, like, crashed, but didn't, like, actually crash-crash. All right, well, I'll see you next time to do some other stuff.